everybody this is Neharika and welcome to the very slow weekend morning <laughs> so today I'm going to discuss a very important question that recently have been asked to me uh, by my one friend and her question was how should we know that we should opt a certain career and I feel like this question is a very strong um, I think topic to discuss be although it's a very complicated and dynamic topic it has a lot of factors that can influence it in a lot of manner where you are what is your financial conditions it's like today this video is more about opinion like that's what i think on this topic and you can add your suggestions you can add your views in the comment section and but it's like i i'm trying to give it a more like practical aspect because we all it's we all do not live in the most ideal conditions and we all do have our challenges and giving just one opinion to solve this problem or to solve this confusion especially in teenagers is not going to help everybody because it's not about one shoe fits all no because we all are different in certain manner so i can tell you my story like how i did it and then i can suggest you certain ways that can help you identify if the culture if the career you are already in is good for you or is it's like if it is for you or not but it's like again it's more of an opinion based on my limited experience so let's start like let me tell you my story first so in uh so when i was a little girl my dad was a marketing manager in food industries so I get to you. I get to go to a lot of places, especially in the food and dairy, dairy product like milk, and you know the bikaneri sweets. I'm from India, so it's like I had all kind of those sweets experiences. Like I saw how to make the how do they make those gulab jamun and haldi rams. I visited all those industries, so I did had a like I did had gained certain like terminologies that can help you search things on Google because Google cannot find you stuff if you do not have the key terms. So that I do had a background of my career, but it's like my career has kind of formed around food science, but it was not how I planned it to be started. I had a vision, but I do not had a clear idea. So when I think in my 11th grade, my I had this thing that I want to do something in biotechnology and in at that time India doesn't had all those machineries or those resources and it's like no country has everything so some countries are good in some things some countries are good in other things so it depends like what you want so that's why I said that place has a very important role in what you want to do because that's how you can plan if you're going to have the resources otherwise if you're going to do so much extra work to gain those basic resources to even start a career upon it it's going to be I do, i'm not saying that it's not going to be possible it's just going to be exhausting for example if in a desert it's better to do a business with sand rather than with uh, about a coconut tree because growing a coconut tree is going to be harder in desert than finding sand so that was my but again with sand uh with a career that is very uh, replenished in india then or any other place then you might be having a lot of competition. So everything has its pros and cons and you have to plan. And again, it's all about your, <clears throat> sorry. And again, it's all about your choices that what do you want to do? If you, if that risk is worth you, worth your time, worth your money, if, or it is not. And it's like everybody has a different bar of a risk that they can handle. So you have to make decisions at every part. For example, and for and I feel like university searching for a university itself helped me a lot in kind of narrowing my career demands because when you for example when you search uh, when as when I search for a university in USA then what I did was I wrote food science or I wrote microbiology these two most common terms that you look for and then you get a list of um, course options or major options you can opt for and then I don't know I feel like you naturally feel attracted towards certain things like there are certain things that you are not 
that you never get tired of doing. For example, for me, I love doing research. It's like my time in my lab is more like a therapy to me. Like I do not need anyone. I, I'm just happy in my own world. And I have this thing that I learn a lot and I'm trying a lot of new things. That's the best part about research that kind of makes me always like makes me fantasy it. So that's like so fascinating for me. And so there are certain things and it's like the best, I think the most important exam that you can take about take with your career is are you happy in your career? Like if like, for example, I started my research in 2019 and from then time till now, I've never stopped. And like, I, it never came to my mind like, oh, I should try something else. And it's not that, that I didn't try something else. Like I tried tutoring undergrad students. I tried doing YouTube channel and then I tried, uh, what else? I tried a lot of like, I think assistantship, for example, I have been like a part of international department where I help students. So it's like you try on different things, but then you leave it and come back to it. So it's like research is something that always stayed like constant of my life in the past, in the past these years. So that's what I think is a way more determining factor that if you really enjoy, if you have that peace of mind, like when you're doing your stuff, for example, I'm not saying that you're always going to be relaxed in your career. No, a lot of times in my research too, the results doesn't come up and you struggle. Like, yeah, those are the hard times because you don't know what to do with the data. It's not making any sense. But it's like temporary. You do not feel like I do not want to go to my job. I do not want to go and do anything. It's like if it happens once or twice in like a year, like I do not remember since 2019 till here when that thing happened. I think it happened like just one time because I caused a massacre in my with my microbes. Like I killed about a billion or I think 10 billions of microbes in like, I think, 24 or 48 hours. So that was like a chaotic experiment for me and it was not something that I do not want it to go but it's like I do not have the answers and those those were the things that were making me nervous so the moment my brain starts like the moment I started discussing that with my professor I got back and we were good so and other than that I do not remember <laughs> so I feel like regarding for example if you are a 12th grade student who is looking for career options I feel like even you are not 12th, just like 11th, 10th, 9th grade student. I'm not sure if your parents will allow you, but it's like my dad used to take me a lot of places, like industrial places to see, to show me a lot of like food science, to show me, I cannot say a lot of actual like laboratory science, no, but a lot of like mechanical science to see how those, those like, sweet dishes are prepared how that milk is conserved all these things i was that was pretty fun to see so i think having a and for a student they can try a lot of things for example if there is a hobby that you like the most and you do not want to compromise on it then why don't you look something similar where you are going to practice that hobby for example if you are really fun if you love designing your 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 home or like your room or everybody's room in your friends group or family's group then and if you do not feel tired of it like we all get exhausted with the work that's not something that you never get tired we all do because it takes energy and it takes a lot of planning and so we all need a change of the routine but other than that if you're happy doing you're practicing your that hobby i believe you should try looking for things that are similar to that. For example, if you love decorating your room or decorating the house, and then you might wanna try some interior designing or some something similar to that. I am limited on vocabulary regarding that profession. So I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah, it's just an example. Uh, or a lot of times you can just, no, even though you do not wanna do any, schooling or masters or any course you can look up at universities and see what professions are in the market related to that hobby 
maybe there is something that you want to that you want to try or you want to try for example i like henna like my one hobby is henna but it's like it's just something i want to try like after months if i have nothing like art is something that i do not want to eliminate from my lifestyle i love doing it so it's like but it's again it's it's not the constant i do it when i have time and research is something and i believe that your career is determined by a lot of factors first is like how much accessible that career is to you in the place you live if if it's not that accessible in that particular place then you might want to move somewhere else and i'm not saying that just move without a plan and see that how but you, it needs a lot of planning if you need to f- move somewhere else then you have to look up for like how you're going to pay bills in that situation and again it all ends up with the one with one question is it worth it do you want it so much that you're ready to do you're ready to make all these changes in your life i think that is one thing that kind of determines if you really want that career or not because if you really is if you're really into a career then it's your tendency that matters like how much you're ready to give into it and the second thing is i cannot i never say that a profession is not good for you for making money or not because i feel like it all depends it's very relative it's like maybe at one place there are so many engineers that they are and that there is so much demand that there are competition and you get less salary but then there is another place who is ready to fund your stay and everything so you need to find those things second is like it's a choice like if you're planning to change places then you're going to be far from your family or friends and friends so it's like is that worth it again it's all come to the, the point that is it worth it is it not worth it and if you can find something that is related to the your favorite hobby and is accessible to you and you at your local location and uh, so i think that is really a lot of green flags for your favorite career but again if you go to your job and you're not happy and if you're frustrated if you're like crying <laughs> for help it means like if you're not learning i think these are the factors i feel like you should leave a job if you're if you feel like you kind of stuck if it's mentally or emotionally be frustrating or traumatizing like trauma is a big word and i do not want it to make it uh, dilute that uh, the strength of this word but i want to kind of hint it like a lot of times mental stress uh, people get a lot of mental stress from work so you need to be considerate about that too and the other thing is like if it's meeting your ends because it's like if you're doing so much you're you're working 40 hours a week and it's still not be enough then there is something wrong maybe with the career or maybe with the company so there is something that you need to work on but yeah thanks for this question and that's my response on it thank you and oh and do let me know if you have any other questions like i'm pretty i have a lot of time these days so i can answer thanks